In this video, we'll be talking about the ant species that is known for ant wars and their strong tendency of aggression. And it is Tetramorium SPE, also known as pavement ants. But first, let's start the intro. Welcome back everyone to another video, and today we're going to do a care guide on pavement ants. And yes, we already did a pavement ant care guide video right here. But for today's pavement ant care guide video, it's going to be much better. I mean, much better. We ain't wasting time. But anyways, let's start the video. First up, habitat. Tetramorium SPE are commonly native to Europe, but they got introduced to North America, most likely from humans transporting plants, soils, etc. But don't worry guys, because payment ants have adapted to other animal life and have a balance in the ecosystem, so technically they're good invaders. These ants will normally nest under sidewalks, under rocks, under pavement, Hence the name, pavement ants. And in the crevices of housing structures. Which means they will be typically found in urban areas. Behavior. Tetramorum SPE are monogenous, which means they only accept one queen ant. Or they're in the founding stage, they are polygenous, which means they only accept more than one queen. However, as the workers arrive, they start killing the queens so there's only one left, which is the dominant queen. So we would suggest putting one payment queen in a test tube. Unless you want your payment queens to kill each other. Payment cons grow really fast. Literally from egg to larva, it takes 11 days. From larva to pupae, it takes the same amount of days, 11 days. And for pupae to worker, it takes 12 days. And all of that makes a total of 34 days from egg to worker. And that's pretty fast. And this is actually one of the reasons why we love payment ants, because they grow fast. Tetramorium queens are fully claustral, which means she needs no food until she gets her first worker. Speaking about food, payment ants eat a variety of insects, including dubia roaches, mealworms, superworms, waxworms, crickets, spiders, And they will even eat earwigs. Yes, even earwigs. And payment ants are also granivorous, which means they eat seeds and nuts. Now for the sweets, they drink honey, syrup. Sugar water and fruits. But when it comes to the wild, payment ants tend aphids for their sweet honeydew. And in return, they protect the aphids from predators. And in the wild for food, they usually forage for dead insects. Tetramorum species E colonies hibernate from November to February. But in our experience, payment ant colonies came out of hibernation in March. In captivity, you have to bring the temperature down to 8 to 10 degrees Celsius. And you don't need to feed them while they're hibernating. But you also need to make sure they have access to water at all times. Their nuptial flights start happening at morning, when the sun starts rising. And it happens within April to July. But the bulk of them fly in June. And since they live in payment, they have nuptial flights right on it. Housing. First of all, payment ants are very easy to house due to them being adapted to human areas, which means they will accept a wide variety of living conditions. These ants don't like nests with wide tunnels. They prefer nests with thin tunnels instead. Let me correct that. 
even thinner. Yeah, like that. Pavement ants like their nest dry, and we recommend their nest to be 30 to 40% moist, and the rest dry. A water source for these type of ants is very important. In our experience, we found that olive oil serves as the best barrier to prevent the ants from escaping their outworld. You could also use Vaseline, but in our experience, it didn't work for us, so we just put the olive oil under the Vaseline. And other good berries you could use for them are Fluon and baby powder mixed with rubbing alcohol. And also, you have to make sure that you clean your ants' garbage and graveyard often. And the thing we notice about payment ants is that they love to have sand in their art world because they dig in it. So we will recommend you guys putting sand as decoration in their art world. And if you like, you can use rocks too. And sticks too. Phew, that was a lot of cleaning. The appearance. Payment and workers are monomorph, which means there's no size difference between workers. The workers range from 2.5 to 4 millimeters in length. From head to ottoman, they're shiny with a coloration of dark brown. The queens range from 7 to 8 millimeters in length. And from head to ottoman, she's shiny with a coloration of black and brownish legs. The male lates range from 5 to 7 millimeters in length. And from head to ottoman, they have the same coloration as the queen ant. Why should you keep payment ants? Why should you keep payment ants, you may ask? Hmm. Well, you came to the right place, because here's why. Reason number one. First of all, payment ants are a good beginner species, and the reason for that is because they grow at a good rate, not too fast and not too slow. Unlike fire ants though, which grow extremely fast. So we'll say that this species of ants wouldn't require as much patience. Exactly the reason why we chose payment ants. Reason number two. Another reason why you should keep payment ants is because they're not picky eaters. As we said in the behavior part, they eat a variety of insects including mealworms, superworms, waxworms, crickets, spiders, yeah pretty much anything. So when it comes to feeding your payment colonies, whew, it will be easy as pie. I'm telling you, it will be. Reason number three. The third reason why you should keep payment ants is because they're easy to house. As we said for the housing part, they will set up a variety of nest conditions like white tongue nest, plaster nest, and acrylic nest. And those nests could be Ants Canada nest, Tar Heel ant nest, and Ants Australia nest. So as you can see, they're not picky at all. And all of that was the three regions, in our opinions, why you should keep payment ants. Questions answered. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope we gave you guys enough information about paymans. I mean, this video is supposed to help you guys out, especially the beginners out there, because paymans are really cool. And we'll say that they're a perfect beginner species, in our opinion. But yeah, we're at the end of it. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Ant Warriors out!